Hi, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and we're going to continue on with our lesson on how to use the WHERE clause. In the previous lesson, we looked at equality conditions. In this lesson, we're going to continue on with range conditions and membership conditions. All right, so a range condition really is a condition that involves greater than, like greater than and equal to, less than, less than and equal to, or uh, things that are like between um, either numbers or values. So we could have, for instance, a query where we're looking for quantity to be greater than 10, or perhaps we're looking for prices that are between $10 and $20. So to do a range condition, we use special signs much like we use the equal sign for equality, we have the greater than sign for uh, greater than, the less than sign for, of course, less than, and then there would be like greater than or equal to, and then um, less than or equal to, and then we'll also use what's called the um, between operator and I'll show you how to use that. So of course the best way to learn about all this is just to get started. So let me grab an uh, example here and let's um, rock and roll. So I just pasted in a sample where we are going to bring back all order details where the unit price is less than five dollars. So here you can see we have the unit price field and then the less than sign. And when I run it, you'll see that all the unit prices are indeed less than $5. So um, what I could just as easily do is run a query to get all the unit prices that are greater than $5. So let's try that. And here you can see the greater than sign. So it's unit price greater than $5. And here we got 997.1469. The greater than and less than signs can also be used for text values. So here's an example where I'm going to get all the customers that are in states that are less than Nebraska. So if I run this, you'll see it comes back with Illinois and Florida. Now, if I was to do the same query where it was um, greater than Nebraska, I, I could do like select, um, we'll just do a uh, state um, from customers where state will do greater than or equal to Nebraska. So this should be the rest here. And you can see it came back with Texas, and New Jersey, and um, Nevada. Um, which, as you remember, there were five customers. So I can also do range comparisons on a calculation. So in the past, we've used the order details table and calculated our total price as basically the unit price times quantity. And here I can use that total price to find order details where the total price is greater than or equal to 100. So if you look at the select statement, we have our, our columns. I want to point out that I'm putting the comma before the end. And this is just so that it's easy to basically remove um, columns quickly. I don't have to worry about trailing commas and, and getting into trouble there. And you'll see that I also have the formula for unit price or total price, which is unit price times quantity. So when I run this, you'll see that it comes back with everything that has a total price that is greater than 100. All right, so the next member or range that I want to show you is the between. And essentially, how this works is, is, is it selects values that are between um, numbers that you would specify. So here I'm looking for total price that's between 100 and 200. When I run this, you'll see it comes back with the prices that are in that range. And it's also inclusive. Notice how it brought back 200. So this is kind of like saying, I want total price that's where the price is greater than or equal to 100 and 
the price is less than or equal to 100. Later on when we talk about Boolean logic, you'll see where we can actually write this statement using um, and and the total price field twice. But for now, um, we're going to use between because it's actually more concise. Also, we can do the same thing with with um, uh, text values. So, if in the state example, I could have done like um, I guess select so I'm getting the states from customer where let's say state. Um, between let's say Illinois and um, Nevada let's see what comes back here and it brings back Illinois New Jersey and Nevada so the last the last uh, condition I want to talk about is the membership condition now this one uses a another operator called in and the idea here is we're we're going to look for all um, fields or return all rows where a certain field is value is in within a set of values I guess the, the easiest way to explain is just to show so let's assume that for our customers that the states Florida and Texas were our southern region and what we want to do is we want to select all customers from the southern region what I could do to filter out those customers is use the in statement and essentially write a query where I'm getting the state in either Florida or Texas. So when I when I run this, it only brings back those states that match either Florida or Texas. So this this statement here also could be rewritten in the sense this is kind of like saying where the state's either Florida or the state's either Texas. I could keep going on with this. I could, this could be hundreds of values. I could say New Jersey here. Let's say New Jersey becomes the new uh, southern state. And whoops. Um, all right. So I, I need to do, uh, I got to write my select statement over again. Select company name. So I can say Florida, let's say Texas, and uh, New Jersey. And there we go. So that concludes both the range and membership condition. I think um, we'll have some examples where we can talk about this more. And of course, if you have any questions, you can email me. Thanks a lot.